Look at her, go run. Come on, Chloe. Oh, do you have a, a an air thing to I clean the keyboards? Okay. Come on, girl. Come on. She is so cold. Yay! <laughs> oh, Susie wants to play. Come on. Oh, my God. I guess we'll drop those two off on the way back. Oh, okay. Look at her go. She's so fast. Oh, she's so excited. How she goes from two weeks of being in a bean bag to to lunatic fringe. Well, she would have done it if she could have the whole time. We didn't let her. Oh, so, so we get to walk all the way up again? Yeah. Oh, God, yay. What did, what did you think of my email to Tim? I didn't read it. I read the first few sentences. I, I can't get this back. Fine, that's fine. Is he almost done? They're going to be. I was, they, the email I sent today, I told them that with all the changes I got and the original cook, I understand it's going to take a couple more days. Monday's the official deadline, but Look at given that. the mistakes we've uncovered concerning features and stuff. She is fast. She can catch. Can she catch her? <laughs> Someone said, uh, Sabrina has been accustomed to being held. She probably will look to be held on this trip. No, no, I don't. <laughs> she's not she <laughs> she's 30 percent heavier than all her her sisters i don't know about the other girl though that's what i'd like to find out uh i haven't found out i haven't heard from any boys but no one has lost their teeth I mean, <laughs> I don't know, we're, we, you know, we just, we grow them fast. What did you call her? What's it, was it, what, how do you define that? Oh, she's pooping. Develop fast. I would wish she would take her time. I see Chapman. Hi, Jane. Yeah, she's not looking back. The hills are alive with running poodles, someone says. Beautiful silver girl. She gets her hair cut tomorrow. Not cut, but she goes to the salon. Hi, Flory. <laughs> Go get her, Chloe. You see her running? She's leading away. She's so cute. 
I love that shoe. Can we leave it on forever? It's kind of her trademark. Did she play frisbee last night? Uh, uh no. No, every time I get to bed. I love these, the sun going down late, but I, I don't get to bed till after 11 and wake up at five. Hi, Al Alice. Have you gotten Chloe's birthday gift yet? <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Anne. Oh, my God. She eating poop. Oh, yeah. This it was warm poop. Oh, oh my god. Up. Oh. Come on, girls. Come on. It's just amazing. You go from carrying her in your arms for half the hikes or thereabouts to carrying her fully when she grows by leaps and bounds to not carrying her at all. <sighs> Everyone says Chloe's regal. We posted a picture. People were writing, bowing down, bowing down. Ah. <sighs> Come on. Oh my God. Free at last. Free at last. <coughs> oh my God. How you doing? Easier without the jelly bean? Go ahead. You gotta get rid of that. Go! All right, bye bye everyone. Yay, Margo. Give her a yay, Margo. Oh my God. I'm still recording on my head though.
Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good to have them all together. Look at them. Remind me when I get. Remind me in two hours to pick up my bike and clean my microphone. So she stayed behind out in a western area of China called Xinjiang. And in recent years, the Chinese government has cracked down and tightened security in Xinjiang very intensely. American officials say Uyghurs face pervasive surveillance, checkpoints entering public places like markets and mosques, identity card checks, and facial scans. This is partially because there's been quite a bit of violence there and sort of ethnic clashes and tensions between the Uyghurs and Chinese in that area. And about 15 months ago, his mother disappeared into what the Chinese government calls a re-education camp. Evidence is growing that up to a million Muslim Uyghurs are being held by Chinese authorities in so-called re-education camps. Inside, detainees have said torture and political indoctrination is... Susie! Critics say the camps are part of Beijing's attempt to eliminate Islam in China. She basically was thrown into what is a large network of camps that have pulled in about a million people in the region. And so Faircat was very depressed. Come on. He was doing a lot to try to get his mother out. He had met with a number of U.S. politicians. He had been quite outspoken giving media interviews, which is significant because a lot of people, even once they're in the United States, leaders are afraid of Chinese reprisals against family in Xinjiang, so they often don't give interviews. So he was sort of doing everything he could uh, to get his mother out. And so part of that, he talks to us. And so, you know, we did an episode of The Daily about him. And so we Come on, girl. off to the Chinese government to check up and see what the story was with his mother. We had heard every so often somebody might be released if you do that. At first, I think we sort of thought maybe nothing would happen. But then all of a sudden, a lot happened. I got on the phone with Faircat recently to kind of talk about it. Hello? And to have him explain to us what he's been through and what it's been Leave it, Chloe. Aha, uh -huh, there we go, I got you. And about what happened when you called him? What did they tell you? So he tells me this, you know, roller coaster of a tale about the past several months of his life. Well, like one Friday, uh, May 17th, I remember that day. I was in a meeting. Office, and uh, I got a phone call. Basically, 10 days after the episode airs, he's at work in Virginia. He's in a meeting. He gets a call. The country code is 86, which is China. And then also, there's like three digit area code, like which is my hometown of Wuja. And then he looks closer and he said, Oh my god, it's actually an area code from my home in Xinjiang. So I, I got like really nervous, and then I just like left the meeting room and I picked up the call. And then uh, the other side is my mom. Wow. It's his mother. She's actually.